Do you have any interesting Al Pacino or Leonardo DiCaprio stories? Oh God, yeah. Um, when I was working for Leo, he, his mom let me, his, his mom was so sweet, Ermeline, let me stay at his beach house in Malibu for a weekend. I was dating somebody who was living in Canada, having a long distance relationship. And he came to town and they let me have the beach house. And I didn't tell him where we were going. And we walked in and we walk into this beach house and everything was Titanic, Titanic towels, Titanic poster, Titanic, you know, everywhere. And so he did look at me and he's like, is this Leo's house? Like, yes, it's Leo's house. So that was, that was pretty amazing. Um, oh, so wait, so his beach oh. house, like the towels actually said, like it was all like just Titanic paraphernalia? It was, it was. I don't think that's something he would do now, but back then, and again, this was like early 90s, um, that he was, yeah, he was, he, I think the film wasn't even that, that, it wasn't that old. And so, yeah, and it was also not his main house. It was, you know, a, and he hardly went there. So I think they, it was probably his mom who did it. <laughs> but it was a dead giveaway. <laughs> I mean, it's on brand. It's like a beach house Titanic. I can kind of yeah, see the tie in. It's, it's thematic. But like yeah. the furniture was all like Titanic-esque? No, no, no. The furniture was all, uh, I remember it was the best bed I've ever slept in in my life. I had to like look at the mattress and see what kind of mattress it was. No, everything was very tasteful, but there were like dead giveaways with the Titanic towels and robes and the poster of Leo and yeah. So that That's, was pretty fun. And there was a poster too? There was a poster. There was a poster. Yeah. That's kind yeah. of funny. I know. I know.